Now this isn't that bad until that bitter, bitter, bitter aftertaste. Hey guys, this is my review for episode 7 of Supernatural season 14. Now admittedly I am also very late with this one, but really this has been a very hard slog to try and get through this season so far. This one did have some interesting moments though. There wasn't a monster really to fight. There was this focus on Jack and how ill he is. The first they take him to a hospital, which I thought was interesting because you know, they've hated taking anyone to hospital. However, underneath it all was actually a pretty personal episode between really Jack and Dean. Jack was hated by Dean when he first came in. Dean had nothing but loathing, hate, and fear of this being of Lucifer. Over season 13, they grew into kind of a father-son, friend, friend, brother, brother sort of relationship. There are moments throughout, like when he lets Jack drive the car, when they go fishing. There's these kind of cheesy moments, but at least there's some, some kind of character dynamic. A little bit of building, but not really. It's more so just sprinkling because they can't do anything other than that. There's this weird Sergey guy that they introduced as a shaman who's this, this dude who just looks like he gets high in his trailer all the time and gives out people weird things and says he'll owe them later. On the other side, we saw Mark Pellerino. I don't care about his hero human character. He basically has now found out who killed his family. It was a cop, but the cop was possessed, or at least he says that Lucifer knew this name, Abraxio or something. Which leads me to two very irritating things. The first being, I like the idea that his family was killed by a regular person. Just nothing involved from Lucifer's end, just that his family was killed by regular people and that he was able to convince a regular dude who was just suffering through the shit to take on Lucifer. I think that was a much more interesting dynamic that anyone at the darkest, darkest moments could give in to such temptation to find a way out. And it's imperative to suicide almost, that some people are not strong enough to take on certain things who go through such griefs. But now, oh, that just makes the whole narrative just bullshit. Fuck you, Andrew Dab, and your fucking retcons, you fucking hack. And then, and then the cherry on top of this bullshit is that somehow, through crying and feeling alone, despite the fact that he knows that a demon killed his family, and he should fucking well know that Lucifer ordered this demon to kill his fucking family, he wants Lucy back in him. And just by crying about it, by being sad that he's a monster, he wills Lucifer back to life. I was saying, no, 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 you can't do that. No, 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 oh, I swear to fucking God, I will make a giant hat that says fucking hack and put it on Andrew Dabb's dumb fucking head because this is just fucking stupid. This is retarded. You can't do this much retconning. You goddamn asshole. Someone said also in the comics the other day that I was going to get really pissed off and I was like, well, this episode isn't so bad. This is actually not too bad. This is a cool character dynamic. This could be a five. And then that thing happened. Just like. <sighs> so in the end, I'm going to give this episode a three out of seven because the brother aspect is not too bad. The of all them together at the end, Rowena, Castiel, Jack, Sam, Dean. And what Rowena said at the end too, we just wait until he dies, which obviously we know he won't die. You know that, right? He's not gonna die. No, 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 no. Andrew Dabb won't let that happen. No, God forbid there'd be some character development. Anyways, that's my review for this episode. If that's the cliffhanger for the season, fucking thank God, because that means I don't have to watch any more of Andrew Dabb's bullshit writing for a little while. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed this roasting. If you liked it, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, if you want to go back, I liked this show at one point. You can go back to my videos and subscribe. Otherwise, I guess I'll see you guys next time.